Okay, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the very first edition of Editor Session. Uh, this is a project of Carmudi Philippines and Zigwheels Philippines. I am Cap Maceda Aguila, the editor in chief of Carmudi Philippines and Zigwheels Philippines. With me today are Fort Manahan, managing editor of Carmudi Philippines. And, and I'm Eric Tipan, managing editor of Zigwheels Philippines. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this project of ours is uh, sort of a catch up. Uh, for us and uh, with you guys to uh, let you know that we're still here in spite of the um, enhanced community quarantine. First off, I think it's also uh, appropriate that we introduce what Carmudi and Zigwheels are, uh, for those of you who are not familiar. Well, we are both online portals where people can browse for the best automotive offers, whether brand new or used. These are also sites where you can sell your used vehicles. And you can even buy brand new motorcycles and trucks here. So basically, we are here to serve all your mobility needs. Now, aside from being buying and serving uh, and selling platforms, we are also legitimate sources of the latest industry news here and around the world. We cover launches, motoring drives, and other events. And we get the privilege of testing cars so you know that they, uh, how they are, they're good, if they're not. Now, of course, because of the ECQ and the whole island of Luzon, we have been, in effect, grounded. There are no events to cover, but I trust that we are still here to cover the news because the news never stops from, uh, from here and abroad. So we want you guys to be always in the know. So please do keep on visiting our websites and our social media platforms. Now, first off, uh, we're going to talk about the enhanced community quarantine, obviously, which has uh, disrupted uh, a lot of our lives and uh, industries also. So guys, uh, what are your comments on, uh, on how it has affected particularly the auto industry? Fort? Can you go first? Well, I think ECQ has uh, disrupted almost every system in every country. Um, basically, businesses went down, operations went down, companies abroad now resorting to you know uh, producing protective gears and medical supplies. Basically, for for the uh, for the usual motorists, road trips outside uh, or within Metro Manila is no longer applicable yet. So vehicles became uh, garage queens, uh, and well, uh, now with hopes of being used for leisure in the near future. Uh, and if, even if, the, if there's a buying power uh, for the Filipinos, people still resort to buying uh, food and PPEs to keep the virus away. Mm -hmm. Eric? Uh, well, uh, like what you said earlier, it's really, I mean, shut down of everything. Launches have been uh, either delayed, postponed, or uh, they've used digital platforms. Like they just released, uh, you know, materials for us to use that we post on our website, zigwheels.ch, carmudi.ch, um, and, and also even around the world. Like uh, we, we saw how many uh, were lined up, these motor shows, Geneva shut down, and all the launches that come along with these big major motor shows. So obviously it's very disappointing for so many car enthusiasts because you want to see these cars, you want to see these cars, and now uh, only digitally can we do that uh, virtually for now. Um, but uh, hopefully, you know, this ends soon. Yeah, and uh, not just launches. Uh, those of us who are um, uh, fans of uh, motorsports also, of course, we're, we're reeling from this. Like, uh, I know a lot of, uh, I mean, the, the F1 um, the calendar has just been turned upside down. I don't know if, when we're going to have the first one and uh so it's really across across the board in terms of we're talking about uh, yeah. motoring automotive everything everything automotive then yeah that's right that's right and it's really more heartbreaking for uh, people who went to australia because it was it was suspended just hours before the race actually i think it was practice hours before practice so people were there people were packed uh they were at the stadium they were at the track uh and then all of a sudden um, there were no cars showing up, and finally the announcement uh, came down that uh, they were going to suspend the race because there were some members of certain teams with, uh, who were positive oh, for COVID-19. Yeah, they, they turned out to be positive, yes, yes. And then here locally, of course, uh, we learned that all the showrooms or the dealerships are, are closed, right? So basically, the traditional forms of, uh, like, if you want to buy a car, I don't know if you want to buy a car during this time, but, but it, they're all closed. And you can't even go out for your, the usual, like, uh, PMS or servicing for that matter. So, we're, yeah, as I said earlier, we're basically uh, grounded. And we reached out to uh, some of our friends from the uh, different mot uh, automotive companies and Yes, they've stopped operations uh, altogether, particularly um, 
those who have manufacturing or assembly plants here like Toyota and uh, Mitsubishi. But uh, as you, as we all know also, um, those of us in the motoring uh, beat, they are working from home. Well, a lot of them are working from home. So that's, that's the good news that a lot of them are still have uh, jobs to come back to and uh, they're doing actually their functions from home right now. Now, one of the things I also want to talk about is what are the effects as far as production? Court, do you know like uh, what uh, have or have you heard? I'm sure you know uh, what does this mean for the companies who have assembly plans here, as I mentioned earlier. It's, it's, it's zero. They're not making any cars now, right? Yes, yes. So the, uh, um, the, the car companies that are uh, resorting to suspension of work. So it means the no new vehicles will be uh, rolling out the assembly assembly plant. So uh, the supply you know, for, for the vehicles would, would be uh, stopped right now. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if there if there would be uh, if there would be supplies in the in the showroom. So uh, we'll, we're still keeping an, uh, an eye on, on news regarding this. Eric, any, any thoughts on that? Oh, well, for sure. Um, these dealerships, I'm sure they have stopped. Uh, but for how long, that's the big question. We, we don't know how long this ECQ is going to be. Um, but uh, when, we, when we get back to some level of normalcy, for sure, some people will visit showrooms uh, to, to check out cars, to buy cars, because that never stops. Um, our need for that uh, is always there. But again, um, there will be for sure for several months down the line, maybe three, four months down the line, there will be supply. But um, like what Ford said, because uh, assembly lines were um, stopped, suspended, there will be shortage if the demand is too high in the next, you know, in several months from now. That's right. Okay, now, uh, of course, we, we know that, uh, as we all mentioned, the auto industry has been severely affected or equally affected as with other industries. but uh, the good news is, at least, uh, we know that a lot of them, or most of them, are stepping up uh, during the pandemic. And we've seen how they uh, have um, sort of stood, stood up as corporate citizens by making donations, uh, whether uh, providing PPEs or pro uh, personal protective uh, equipment, ventilators. And then we've also heard, at least abroad, uh, like um, executives are taking pay cuts, stuff like that. And also locally, we are happy to report that a lot of them are uh, lending out units for use of the frontliners. Now, we're going into the next uh, part of our uh, discussion, which is we're going to report to you guys out there what your favorite local brands are doing amidst this uh, crisis. So I will run down the brands and see, at least get a snapshot of what they're doing for, their, for our front frontliners prim primarily. So Eric, can you start that off? Well, uh, for Toyota Motor Philippines, the number one uh, automaker in, in the country, I mean, it's very heartwarming. One of the first guys to really step up and help out. Um, they've uh, allowed various uh, agencies, uh, government agencies, hospitals as well, to uh, use their cars. Um, some are demo units. Uh, some are, you know, uh, staff units. Uh, these are uh, Vios, Innova, Fortuner, The Rush. High Ace, RAV4, FJ Cruiser, among many others. 47 vehicles were lent out by uh, Toyota um, for the past three weeks already. And they say that uh, there is no limit to, the, to, to, to their you know, generosity. As long as these establishments, these uh, hospitals, these clinics, as long as these frontline healthcare workers need the cars, they will lend the cars out to them. Um, right now... Well, at least this was from about two weeks ago. Uh, and again, we were talking to people from Toyota Motor Philippines directly. Uh, and th this, again, from two weeks ago, Philippine General Hospital, Hospital of Makati, East Avenue Medical Center, Mary Johnson Hospital in Manila, Binagon and Lake View Hospital, UniHealth Paranaque, uh, City Government of Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa Community Hospital, City of Manila, um, and also Navota. These guys have some of the cars. But again, Toyota, they said their doors are open. Anytime anybody reaches out to them, they'll you know find ways to lend out more vehicles to be able to help the frontline workers. That's good to know, and uh, kudos to Toyota. Uh, yeah, I think one of the the common themes that you will see uh, during our reports today is that a lot of them are are lending out units to for use of uh, the the frontliners. That's also the case with Mitsubishi. Uh, Mitsubishi Motors Corporation turned over actually some some four units probably by this time because when we reached out to them, that was like a couple of weeks ago. So they also are trying to help uh, this time in the city of uh, uh, Santa Rosa, Laguna. 
which uh, and they lent out these L300 units for the use of, uh, of course, the frontliners wherever they'll be picked up into the medical institutions, of course. So also Mitsubishi is doing the same thing that uh, Toyota is uh, doing at the moment. Uh, Fort, how about you? Uh, to add to that list, uh, AC Motors, which is under Ayala Group, also lent out uh, three Volkswagen crafters for uh, medical workers to and fro uh, family doc clinics. The said clinic in turn thank uh, AC Motors as they were able to open 51 clinics and deliver supplies like alcohols and PPEs. Filipinas Auto Group uh, also loaned several units of their yet-to-be-launched Dongfang Class 2, 3 and uh, modern vehicles. Uh, in cooperation with the Office of the Vice President and the Department of Transportation, uh, the Dongfang units will cover two routes. One being the Esimasinag to St. Luke's Medical Center and the other route is covering San, San Jose del Monte to SM Fairview which stops at several hospitals such as North Caloocan Doctors and Dr. C. Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center. We go abroad this time uh, in your favorite F1 team. Oh, winner. Uh, this is this is great news. Um, Mercedes AMG Petronas F1 team. Uh, they they made mm -hmm. 100. These are not respirators. These are not ventilators. But these are breathing aids. Uh, kind of like the CPAP, the device that are used by people who have difficulty breathing on a daily basis. So they they mm -hmm. developed this in with the help of uh, physicians and engineers from the uh, University College London Hospital. 100 units. They already delivered. And they're being tested out, and as soon as uh, it's a okay, they're going to develop more. I think a thousand is the initial target uh, for the uh, Mercedes uh, AMG Petronas F1 team. So that's good news uh, for for these guys to be able to help people who have difficulty breathing, because that's one of the side effects of um, COVID-19 is when you regress to uh, pneumonia, you you have difficulty breathing. All right. Well, uh, that's, that's good to know. And uh, in relation to that, uh, talking about ventilators, Ford, of course, as we know in the news, even I think even President Trump mentioned this, Ford, in collaboration with GE Healthcare, they'll be producing some 50,000 ventilators in 100 days. That's their target. Uh, with capacity to produce 30,000 a month thereafter. Uh, this supposedly started in April 20 at Ford's uh, Rossville, Michigan Components Plant. And Ford expects to produce 1,500 by the end of this month. And then uh, by the end of May, uh, 12,000 and scale that up to uh, 50,000 by, uh, by July 4th. That's the target. So 50,000 by July 4th. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. great news. Um, uh, this is more on the uh, sort of entertainment side of things because I, they know probably a lot of people are bored uh, in their homes, um, not being able to go out much, not being able to do, I mean, if you've exhausted the list of movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Um, if uh, Audi is allowing you to take a tour of their uh, plant in Germany, uh, all you have to do is um, visit Audi.stream, that's S-T-R-E-A-M, Audi Stream, uh, and uh, you can take a look at their plant. It's enormous, in fact, I didn't know about it. Um, it's bigger, uh, the whole plant is the size of Monaco, the country of Monaco, so that's how big the, the plant is. If you're actually physically gonna go there, it's gonna take two days. To, to tour the whole plant, but they're allowing you to do this in 15, 15 minutes with Audi Stream. So check that out. Plus, if you're like us and you're work from home, you're WFFM, right? Uh, and you you want to use some backgrounds because I set up my background specifically for the for the call, so it's it's pretty nice. <laughs> but if you want a nicer background, uh, they're they're giving they're giving away some free backgrounds. Um, this is their Facebook site. Um, there's one right now or a couple right now. Uh, featuring two cars. One is the 88L, um, and uh, the other is the um, R8. All right, so uh, check it out if uh, you wanna you want a fancy background for. So we can probably use that for our Zoom meeting next time, huh? Next time, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Isuzu Philippines Corporation lent out uh, two D Max units and an MUX. A MUX to the uh, local government of Binyan through Mayor uh, Arman Dimagila. These vehicles will uh, be used to transport frontliners, of course, in Binyan and Santa Rosa. Additionally, IPC also lent an um, UX to a modern and a modern PUB design NLR to the medical city in uh, medical city south in Santa Rosa for uh, similar uses. So we're seeing a lot of uh, companies in the Santa Rosa area because, of course, we know that a lot of them hold offices there. 
and facilities there. So I'm sure that area be well served. I mean, the frontliners should have no problem. Also, uh, GD donated some 20,000 surgical masks to the Department of Health. Of course, for, for the use of the frontliners, as we know, uh, we've seen on the news that a lot of, a lot of our frontliners aren't getting uh, enough uh, masks. Of course, these are disposable, so they'll need a constant supply of this. So Jili and Li, Li Shufu Charity Foundation through Sojits G Auto Philippines, uh, join more companies that have donated and made pledges to help the government battle the coronavirus <laughs> disease. And speaking of face masks, Shell Philippines also recently gave out some 5,095 masks to the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital and Department of Health. So uh, they are hoping to send out more PPE supplies if they are able to source them. Aside from the masks, the, com the company also donated its select water to seven hospitals and is leveraging its retail network to give food packs, biscuits and water for medical workers, police force, and logistics drivers. I'll go on. Uh, speaking of gas companies, Caltex is also mm -hmm. uh, giving a total of, uh, donated a total of 1 million pesos in the form of fuel and cash. The purpose of these donations is to provide, of course, sufficient equipment to health workers and frontliners, as well as to safely transport them amid the Luzon-wide ECQ. To help resolve the lack of personal uh, protective equipment and medical supplies, the two Chevron companies, or two Chevron companies donated 500,000 pesos to the Philippine General Hospital Medical Foundation. PGH, of course, as everyone knows, is one of designate, the designated hospitals in Metro Manila that exclusively handles uh, COVID-19 cases. So speaking of gas companies or fuel uh, companies, oh, what do you guys have? Uh, I have here uh, the other efforts from oil companies such as uh, gas vouchers were pulled at Grab's uh, community-driven initiative, Grab Bayanihan. Uh, to better understand, the ride-hailing app reactivated this program uh, recently to help everyone during this crisis. So part of this program gives volunteer driver partners 300 pesos Gas vouchers sponsored by Uni Oil, uh, Phoenix Petroleum, Sea Oil, and Caltex. Phoenix also supported the uh, Department of Transportation's free bus ride program by subsidizing the fuel for uh, the buses uh, being utilized. Yeah, and right now there there is about 19, 19 if I'm not mistaken, 19 buses, 19 routes being served by the DOTR um, free health uh, free ride for health workers. Uh, and speaking of Fuel, you're asking about uh, what's going on. Well, major discounts uh, from from last month until oh, yeah. um, the uh, final end of uh, final day of March. Four times the uh, uh, price of fuel went down last month, and it's never been this low. Uh, apparently, I mean, in terms of the world market price since 2002. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, because you haven't been driving outside and your car, you haven't been to a gas station. Uh, in a while. Um, right now, collectively, the gas prices have gone down by at least <clears throat> 8 pesos. Wow. The first, one, uh, the, first, the first drop was March 3, about a peso and 40 for gasoline. I won't go uh, with, with kerosene anymore. 160 for diesel, 140 for gasoline. And the second drop came in uh, March 14, 425 for gas and uh, diesel. Then the third rollback, March 24, that was about four pesos for gas and two pesos for diesel. Uh, and then obviously uh, the latest one, uh, two pesos uh, per liter for gasoline and for diesel, it's about 50 centavos. But it's considerable decrease in um, oil prices because um, there is no demand. There, nobody's driving. Um, and and worse, to make it worse, Russia and apparently Saudi Arabia just dumped all of their oil into the world market, which further lower, lowered the price of, of fuel. Uh, definitely good news. Let's hope it stays that way, though. Yeah. After April 14, or even, even if the uh, enhanced quarantine is extended, let's hope the prices remain like that for maybe a couple of weeks so everybody can fill up uh, and, and uh, you know, enjoy very low fuel prices right now. Amen, amen. Uh, aside, uh, you mentioned, of course, yes, uh, those of us who, are, who get to travel or to drive, uh, Eric, of course, would, would notice the, the change or the, the, the massive uh, discounts mm -hmm. in, in pump prices. But um, those of us who do uh, get to drive out, uh, are there some, is there some good news, at least for those who use the tollway? Uh, well, if you're a medical health uh, or a medical personnel or healthcare worker, there's good news for you. It's, uh, you, you get to use 
all um, right now it's not before previously mga a week ago it was only SNC infrastructure managed um, tollways that are free for medical workers healthcare workers uh, and these expressways are SLEX South Luzon Expressway Skyway Naia X Star Tollway um, Tplex and uh, well, those, well, at least those but just today uh, fresh news from hmm. our friends from the DOTR Apparently, even NLEX managed um, expressways will now be free wow. for healthcare workers. That means um, all Metro Pacific tollways, uh, NLEX, SETEX, Abitex, C5 Southlink, and Kalax. All of those expressways right now are free for medical health, uh, medical personnel and healthcare workers. All you need to do, I think, I believe, is present your uh, PRC ID. Um, nothing else. So they, they don't want to make it difficult, but you have to present your ID uh, and claim, like for SMC infrastructure at least, uh, you have to claim a, an RFID device so that you get to pass through the tollways without hassles. And so you don't have to do it every time you pass. They give you an RFID specifically for the purpose of allowing you free toll, uh, toll fees uh, during uh, COVID-19. So the, 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 the medical, uh, medical personnel they don't have to be driving, right? As as long as they're inside the vehicle, then that uh, that should that should cover it, right? I I, be, I believe it has to be their vehicle, though. I, I for sure oh, okay. somewhere one or another because um, you never know. There are some unscrupulous people out there who who use medical professionals um, to you know get a get a leg up over everyone else. So true, I'm, I'm sure one way or another, you have to be able to show proof that this is your vehicle or at least this is something you use on a daily basis. All right, all right. Okay, so uh, there you have it, folks. We want to keep this short, so uh, that's it for now. And uh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Fort. Uh, to everyone else, please uh, drop us questions. Please send us your questions, and we'll try to answer them on the next uh, edition of Editor Session. Uh, please keep safe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.